Well, the birthing process is over, and I have already started putting things away and getting my kitchen table all uh, set up again. This is where I do my reborning at my kitchen table now. And she's been uh, reborn again. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, these are the remaining items. That's my light and my cosmetic sponges, wedges. Um, there's a pencil sharpener. I did try to use it for a Prisma pencil for her eyebrows, but I ended up painting a tiny bit of paint on her eyebrows. There's all the brushes I use. That paint is sitting there for like four days now. I have to wash that Pyrex bowl. There's the matte varnish that I use. And there was the black that I used for her hair and some toothpicks. And these things come in real handy. So, all right, get ready. <laughs> George just wanted to say hello. He's getting ready to have his breakfast. Aren't you, George? Yeah? And you want to say hello? Yeah? No, he doesn't want to say hello. He just wanted to pop on so you can see him. He's going to get his nails trimmed and his beak trimmed on uh, Saturday, I hope. So, hi, everyone. Here she is. Isn't she darling? I hope the lighting's good. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Central Florida. And um, I here, here I have my brand new baby girl. And I just wanted to do a little story um, about her and about the whole experience. And um, start off by asking if anybody knows <laughs> that's watching what it's like emotionally to reborn a doll. <laughs> I find the, the same process over and over every time I reborn a new doll. The anticipation, the impatience, the wonderment of it all. Will I like her when she's on her body? Will she be cuddly? What is her style? What colors does she look best in? It's a wonderful experience. And it's a hard experience because um, Especially if you're impatient and you want to know right now, what does she, what is she going to be like? What is she going to look like? So, uh, first I wanted to tell you what I did to her. I painted hair on her. I decided not to use the wig. It doesn't stay on and I, I just would rather her have her natural hair. And it took me a couple days to paint her hair came out beautiful. It's black. I will do a details video sooner or later so you can see it better. I clipped her lashes. Her lashes are rooted and they were a little too long and I clipped her lashes a little bit. They were hanging a little too low over her eyeballs and particularly the white portion of her eyes needed to be seen more. Um, I lightened the color of her lips a bit. I gave her a hint of an eyebrow uh, I repainted the insides of her hands and her feet. Mostly that was the biggest problem. I matted her, her whole body. I didn't do her face though. Uh, I re-tipped her nails so that they're less white. Now they're a creamy color. I made her a new passy, which the magnet that's in her mouth right now isn't the best. I'm not a real passy fan anyway. I like to see their mouths, but she does have a passy. And I put her on a different cloth body that has a gathered butt and, and a gathered chest, which I prefer. And um, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird to you guys if you haven't had this experience. I know they're not real, um, but they do um, e emote something and you respond somehow to them. And when I put her together and I dressed her and I held her last night, um, she was reborn last night, January 31st <laughs> at 10 p.m. <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer. Uh, and when I held her last night, she didn't have that look of wonderment that all my other Kiras had. See, she's, I think, my fifth Kira. 
Uh, and normally they have a look of uh, kind of a wonderment look. But she looked at me like last night, who are you? Who am I? Where am I? And I really felt like she needed reassurance that she was in her new home and that she would be loved and she would be spoiled. Yeah. And she's not in the outfit that she was in last night. I wanted to put her in this outfit that she came home in. And I honestly didn't think it would fit her because her body um, is a lot different. But she's still a, a whopping 21 inches long. So she's long and skinny. <laughs> and um, I like this. This was my favorite thing <clears throat> from the box opening that I got. And it does fit her. So anyway, I'm drinking my coffee as I do every morning wanted to take a sip before it got cold so anyway <clears throat> she's not even five pounds I like my babies lighter sometimes so that I can hold them longer without my arm or my leg getting tired but I'm not sure if I will add more weight to her to make her at least five pounds maybe if I feel like doing that but she's very floppy right now and um, like I said she's 21 inches long she's really She's a string bean. <laughs> and I chose a name for her that is not heard very often. Now, um, kind of like the other names I choose for my babies, Clifford and um, uh, Bernadette. You know, I don't choose names that are often heard. And uh, this time... I remembered I had a friend back in the early 2000s from our little church in Dover, New Jersey called Word of Life. And this woman was from Grenada. And she was here um, on a visa, I guess they call it, back then. She was very tall and quite thin and willowy. And her name was Mavis. <laughs> She was a lovely woman who, who took a liking to me, and she always made sure to send me a greeting card for my birthday or whatever, and they were always the cards that played music or words when you opened them up. I loved them. She must have seen the little girl in me, and uh, she just got attracted to, to my personality. I don't know, but she was always very, very interested in being next to me or talking to me. And she was here in the States working as a nanny. Her daughter was in Grenada, and she was very, quite very sad about that. I don't know the whole story about it. Um, I, and I wanted to look up the meaning of the name Mavis, um, and it means songbird, which couldn't be more appropriate for me, because I love enjoying the birds at my bird feeder right now, and I love birds. Anyway, this little baby reminds me of Mavis. So this is Mavis. Meet Mavis. Mavis. And by the way, the real Mavis, her, her last name was Hyacinth. Mavis Hyacinth. And I thought that was really interesting. But Hyacinth is not really a, a name that I would want to give a, a girl. But her name was Mavis Hyacinth. <laughs> So I do hope that you love her. I hope that um, you will watch her details video, which I'll be doing soon. But I wanted to introduce you to little Mavis. And um, I hope you will come back and watch her more. So, all right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you real soon. And um, we will be doing more videos with little Mavis. Bye, everybody.